Hi, welcome to Pinoy Swiss Abroad. If you're new to my channel, please try to watch in full before subscribing. We've been traveling by plane since September 2020 because we are COVID-free in the community. Please check my travel series as per the description box below. And also, please check my hometown Auckland City and around. New Zealand is known as the land of the long white clouds. This is the seventh and the last of the travel series around here in Wellington, the capital city of New Zealand. Please check my previous travel videos related to these photos. This is the last glimpse around Wellington City in the year of 2020. Let's look around what is nearby. Just by looking around, you will know some information about a certain buildings, even if it's a heritage one. And we just discovered this New Zealand Portrait Gallery. And this is the photo of our Prime Minister, Hacinda Ardern. That is her famous photos, especially in the Middle East, among the Muslim community. That same photo of her was shown illuminated in the famous Burj Khalifa in Dubai, UAE. Burj Khalifa is the tallest tower in the world so far. There you go, more information for you. Now we move on to our last destination before we go home to Auckland. Unfortunately, it rained. But it didn't deter us to go and visit Catherine. But because of the rain, it took us 20 minutes or more to walk from our hotel going to the place that we're going to visit. And may I remind you again that here in Wellington, it can get to a four season in one day. So please be prepared and have a raincoat with you. Now, who is Catherine? She is called Catherine Mansfield. According to Wikipedia, Catherine Mansfield Murray was a prominent modernist writer who was born and brought up in New Zealand. She wrote short stories and poetry under the pen name Catherine Mansfield. Born in October 14, 1888 in Wellington and died in France in January 1923. Let's enter their 1888 home in Tinakori Road. It is a fashionable colonial family house and the house is open from Tuesday to Sunday 10 to 4 p.m. There is a $10 charge for adults and the child is free to enter. So I'll tell you about a little bit more about her. Catherine Mansfield is an international acclaimed New Zealand writer. And her full maiden name is Catherine Mansfield Beauchamp. Her work has been translated into more than 25 languages. Early in the 1903, the entire family sailed to England and came back to New Zealand in December 1906. And then in July 1908, she sailed for London. From then on, her life is like a storybook itself. Her books are The Garden Party in 1922, Miss Brill in 1920, The Doll's House in 1922, and so many more. 
makikita nyo po dito sa bahay, uh, niretain po nila yung itsura noong 1800, di ba po? Ganyan po yung pamumuhay nila noong araw. So, now, let's go upstairs and have a look around. You can see a lot of history and details into its walls, ceilings, and the floor. If you are into history, you will like this. So, ayan po, may libre na kayong tour. Kahit na hindi po kayo makapunta dito sa New Zealand, here in Wellington, para na rin po kayong nakapunta dito, di ba po? As you can see, she is also into fashion. At that time, fashionable po yung mga damit na yan. Even though it's old in the fashion way, it still looks beautiful. At kahit naman po modern day na, eh di ba po, minsan kumukopya pa rin tayo ng mga fashion from the old times. Ito po yung mga kagamitan dito nung araw. And I think this one is a water bottle for heating. Interesting, isn't it? I remember when I was a little girl, I have that little lamp. Now, these are all antiques. And now, this is the children's bedroom. That's why there's a lot of dolls. It can get creepy, especially at night. That's why probably they close at 4 p.m. I fast forward this video so I hope you won't get dizzy too much. And in September 2011, there was a TV drama that was produced and made here in New Zealand about one of the books, Bliss, as per these photos. I hope you like this, what I'm showing you. And this is the Corona in the 1800s. Kumpara sa Corona natin, nitong last year 2020 and from Catherine Mansfield house we went back to Tipapa Museum and it costed us $17 by taxi and don't worry if you don't have cash you can pay by card debit or credit card and the driver can give you a receipt this is our last glimpse of the papa museum in wellington for the year 2020 then our shuttle pick us up 
and then uh, went to the airport. And yes, surprise, surprise! Look how many people are inside the airport. And everyone is departing on that day and uh, going to some other cities. But we are going to Oakland City. Just a reminder again that we are COVID free in the community here in New Zealand. That's the reason why we can travel all over New Zealand. And if you don't know, Weta Workshop is located here in Wellington and they are the one who created these figures and special effects in Lord of the Rings, Hobbiton, Avatar, and District 9. And because this is just a domestic flight, so there is no uh, food and so we have to eat here down uh, before the boarding. Sushi in New Zealand is actually cheap compared to other countries. for all those people who are still here. Maraming maraming salamat po at umabot kayo hanggang dulo. If you're new to my channel, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell button. Thank you very much.